in this example, the asymptote is y equals 2x, and my co-vertices are plus or minus 8. Um, so again, guys, the first thing I ask you to do is not to be looking at your phone, but to actually plot the information using markers that actually work. So up here I have um, plus negative 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now again, guys, these are my co-vertices, not my vertices. But from here, I can develop a lot of information. First of all, I understand that the, just like for the ellipse, the hyperbola is no different. The center is the midpoint of my two co-vertices. So right here, I can identify that the center is going to be at 0, 0. Do you also, I know that the transverse axis is where the vertices and the foci are. So if my co-vertices are left and right, that means my um, vertices have to be up or down. Correct? That means my transverse axis is going to be vertical. That also means my vertices are going to be up and down. That means they're vertical. So my equation is going to be in, um, I'm going to have a, my a squared is going to be under my y. Now, um, so let's write it like this. So we have. Oh, and then the other thing is, the distance from the center to your co-vertice is 8, but it's also equal to b. So now we know the value of b. So let's go and write in the information that we have here, so, at least so far. So we know we have y squared, because it's minus 0, um, over a squared, which we don't know right now. And that's going to be minus x squared over 64. So we've got to figure out a squared. So we look at what other piece of information we've given. Well, we've been given the asymptote. Now, Remember, for a vertical transverse axis, the asymptote is going to be you know, plus or minus vertical. That's going to be a over b. No. Yeah. Vertical. Isn't this vertical? Yeah. yeah. So vertical is going to be a over b, right? Yes. Yeah. So we know, we didn't know a, but we know b. So a over b is going to equal to? Two. Right? Yeah. So therefore, A is going to equal 16. So then 16 squared is going to be 16 times 16, which is? 256? Yes? No? OK. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Ooh. 